A true story goes like this. Some years ago, on a hot summer day in South Florida, a little boy decided to go for a swim in the old swimming hall behind his house. In a hurry to dive into the pool water, he ran out the back door, leaving behind shoes, socks, and shirt as he went. He flew into the water, not realizing that as he swam toward the middle of the lake, an alligator was swimming toward the shore. His mother in the house was looking out the window and saw the two as they got closer and closer together. In utter fear, she ran toward the water, yelling to her son as loudly as she could. Hearing her voice, the little boy became alarmed and made a U-turn to swim to his mother. It was too late. Just as he reached her, the alligator le reached him. From the dock, the mother grabbed her little boy by the arms, just as the alligator snatched his legs. That began an incredible tug-of-war between the two. The alligator was much stronger than the mother, but the mother was much too passionate to let go. A farmer happened to drive by, heard the screams, raced from his truck, took aim and shot the alligator. Remarkably, after weeks and weeks in the hospital, the little boy survived. His legs were extremely scarred by the vicious attack of the animal. And on his arms were deep scratches where his mother's fingernails dug into his flesh in her effort to hang on to the son she loved. The newspaper reporter who interviewed the boy after the trauma asked if he would show him his scars. The boy lifted his pant, pant legs. And then, with obvious pride, he said to the reporter, But look at my arms. I have great scars on my arms too. I have them because my mom wouldn't let go. That's the story. And I believe you and I can identify with that little boy. We have little scars too. No, probably not from an alligator, but the scars of a painful past. Some of those scars are unsightly and have caused us deep regret. But some wounds, I believe, are because God has refused to let go. In the midst of your struggle, he's been there holding on to you. Scripture teaches that God loves us. We are the children of God. You are the child of God. I believe he wants to protect you and provide for you in every way. But sometimes we foolishly wade into dangerous situations, not knowing what lies ahead. The swimming hole of life is filled with peril, and we forget that the enemy is waiting to attack. That's when the tug of war begins. And if you have the scars of his love on your arms, be very, very grateful. He did not and will not ever let you go. You just never know where a person is in his or her life and what they are going through. So never judge another person's scars because you do not know how they got them. Right now, someone needs to know that God loves them and you love them too. Enough to not let them go. Dear brothers and sisters, in this Lenten season, as we have just entered Holy Week in 2021, we could ask the following questions. What wounds demonstrate love or care? Can you think of examples from your life? For example, scars that are a result of life-saving surgery, 
injuries received in helping someone else, the loss of an opportunity that you later discover would have been a bad choice, and so on. What do you think is the difference between wounds that bring harm and wounds that bring healing? During the Holy Week of 2021, I wish you the realization of your scars. And I wish you the realization of the scars of Jesus. And I wish you the realizations of wounds that bring healing. Amen.